Seventh grade students were working on solar projects for the last week. In class we talked about different properties that they would need to keep in mind. For example, does color make a difference or does the angle that the light hits your solar oven make a difference? Um, looking at what happens as the sun appears to move during the day because the earth is rotating. What are the things you have to take into consideration if you're going to build a device that's going to use solar energy to either cook food or dehydrate food or maybe take the salt out of salty water? So they had to consider does this meet the criteria? Will it do what it needs to do? Will, it, will the sun angles work? Will the materials work so that, the, uh, you know, that, that it's going to be warm enough in the solar oven to actually cook the food that's in there? Each student has a cup of food. It has peanut butter, dark chocolate chips, and marshmallows. And in addition to building their solar ovens, the students also gave me a drawing, a labeled drawing showing me what they put where uh, may have given me also directions on how they built their solar oven and then also they need to write an explanation why should their solar oven or other solar device work based on the things that we learned in class. So what were you learning in science class to be able to help you create your oven? Um, in science class we were learning about uh, the sun and the angles so when it hits something what angle does it bounce off at and it bounce off it bounces off the angle at the opposite degree it hits on. Okay. And so in mine the sun comes from up there and it hits that and aims into the bowl of like marshmallows, chocolate chips and peanut butter. And I painted the inside of my box black so it'll absorb the heat. And then I put plexiglass and sealed it off with duct tape on top to keep the heat inside to trap it so there's no heat transfer outside. Great. And what else did you learn from this? Anything? Um, I didn't know the sun was so powerful because some of the ovens are up to like 300 degrees. Wow. So, um, can you describe your solar oven and how it works? <laughs> well, it's in a circular 12-sided shape so it can catch light from any direction and focus it into the black part in the center, making all the heat kind of get right where the cup is. And uh, the rocks are there to weight it down, but they also store some heat. So Noah, what were you learning in science class that helped you with this project? Well, this is a solar desalinator. Uh, I, I made this um, from plexiglass, and the idea was the sun's light uh, is supposed to enter it, heat the water, and make it evaporate and condense on the plastic to run down into the base. And uh, we learned about uh, heat transfer a lot, the three main types, uh, radiation, conduction, and convection. Um, uh, there's a lot of radiation used in this device. Um, uh, the sun's radiation heating the water, and then the wa in the water there's convection to evaporate. Well, the most challenging part was probably <laughs> building it and writing an explanation of why it worked and having to explain a lot of things that we learned in science class. Do you see it working? Um, well, I think it's melting the chocolate chips and the peanut butter, but not the marshmallow yet. Can you explain the mechanics of, of your oven and the, sha well, the shape and the material? The shape of it, I kind of, I use a regular box to put two, half a box on each side. And it kind of, it, when the angle of incidence hits this one, it bounces off and back down. And hopefully it will hit the bottom and then it will hit the pie tin. And then it heats up the pie tin. And then I also put the saran wrap in to keep the heat. So what, did you, what were you learning in science class to help you create your solar oven? Well, first of all, I knew that black was the absence of color because it absorbs all the energy. So, as you can see, I used a ton of black in there. And I also used, like, tin foil to reflect the sun's energy into the, into the pot. And since it's black, it absorbed all those energies.